51 weeks a year, it's a quiet valley tucked away in interior Alaska. But come early April, you'd never know you were in the middle of nowhere. Arctic Man's crowds create the third largest city in the state, an RV heaven overflowing with the staples of this society. But by Friday morning, the roar of the drum is tuned out by the roar of the engine. If speed isn't your style, stay away. All the people and all the crazy stuff going on, it's just a blast. Arctic Man's Snow and Go Classic is filled with plenty of downhill action, both on the slope and off. In Alaska, we have a lot of snow. We don't have NASCAR, so the next best thing is Arctic Man. It started as a bar bet between two friends, a skier and a snow machiner. I had a bar bet with three of my buddies or two of my buddies that I could beat them from the top where we're having raced right now to the bottom. I won that bet, put the $300 into an event, and we started the next year. 25 years later, it's an event that attracts thousands and dozens of competitive athletes from all over. From Bozeman, Montana. I raced last year, had a great time. I ended up getting third my first time, and I'm, I'm hooked. Four, three, two, seven, The skier one. starts at 5,800 feet, speeds downhill for about two miles. Every, every part of that course has its own unique, uh, unique characteristics. Then hooks up with their partner, a snow machiner. The snow machiner tows the skier, reaching speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. And we let go. For that rope and fly over first aid and man you're you got you're just excited excited to get to the finish going as fast as you can but it doesn't always work out that way what started as a fun bet over a beer is now an alaska tradition in 1986 we started this thing and no way am i Farm imagination that I ever think that we'd make it to this far with this much competition, this many people. Good speed coming in hot. Trips to Arctic Man are etched in the foggy memories of many. Every time I leave here, I get hundreds of emails from people thanking me. I don't even know them. I've never met them, you know, and so they say, Howard, we've come with our family, we've had a great time. But regardless of how many RVs park here every year or sponsors show up, the fundamentals remain the same friends having fun in the last frontier. It's the most fun I've ever had on skis.